The Shining is property of Warner Brother Pictures. This is a fan-made movie review. Please support the official release. Okay, the film The Shining is a, another film directed by Stanley Kubrick and written by him. I also previously reviewed 2001 A Space Odyssey, which he also directed. If you haven't seen that, go check it out, but that, that's not the point today now, is it? So, The Shining, the plot in a brief nutshell, is basically about a family of three. Uh, Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, and... Uh, Yeah, I don't remember his name, but the kid's name is Danny. Or I'll go by the character names, Jack, Wendy, and their son, Danny. They go to this hotel, the Overlook Hotel, and, well, their basic job is to overlook it during the winter. You know, make sure winter and all that doesn't destroy it, and, you know, because it's a pretty fancy and expensive hotel. And over the next few months... Jack goes crazy as shit. And, uh, well, he gets an axe and tries to chop up his family, pretty much. And I won't tell you anymore, because if you haven't seen it, then you need to go see it. Because now, let's get to my review of the film. This film is absolutely stunning. One of Stanley Kubrick's best pieces of work, in my opinion. Uh, when the film was released, I believe it got negative to mixed reviews. Now it's like one of the greatest horror films slash thrillers ever made. And I guess half of that is because of that idea of claustrophobic feeling that you can get from the film. Because, I mean, imagine you're stuck in a hotel in the middle of nowhere and you can't go anywhere. Pretty much that's what Stanley Kubrick wanted to do. Make a film that just scared the crap out of people with the co- feeling of claustrophobia. And, uh, you know, the film does that rather well. I mean, you know, there's no r- real moments that they could jump or anything like that. It's just a very suspenseful film that doesn't have suspenseful parts. That's the best way I can describe it. It's just, it's just a really, really good movie. And if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend a watch. It's just it's very eerie. It's not as scary as The Exorcist, but it's still a great film. And, you know, it just... Everything it does, it pulls off with beauty. And majesty. Whatever. But, you know, if you haven't seen it, and you let it... If you haven't seen it, definitely give it a watch. It's just that good. And I know a lot of people criticize it because, you know, there's a lot of big differences, apparently, to the Stephen King novel and the movie, which I haven't read the novel myself. I will eventually. It's on my list of things to read. But, you know, so far as the movie itself goes, it's just fantastic. And it has great camera work. I mean, this film had groundbreaking camera work for its time. I mean, I don't even know how they got some of these shots in the 1980s. But, let's just keep that in this. And that's all for this horror film review. Uh, let's see. Uh, next will be a film directed by MNS. There's your clue. M N S. Peace out.